are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I would like to ask you what it means for the Dallas and for, for the whole organization and for the city of Dallas, the Luka Doncic's uh, participation in Ultra Game as a starter. And uh, is it fair to talk about uh, the Luka Doncic's legacy in Dallas for 10 years from now? Well, it's, it's certainly, certainly well deserved. Um, you know, I, I had no doubt that he was going to be a starter in the game. Um, it's great for the organization. It's great for our team. It's great for him. Um, and it's, you know, it, we're early on in what's going to be a, a long and sensational career. So, um, you know, each year he's gotten better. Each year he brings a new tool out of the toolbox, you know. Um, and so we're obviously very happy for him. And uh, in terms of his future legacy, all that, you know, I, I don't, I don't love those conversations. I just think it's important to stay in the moment, stay in the present, go day to day, hour to hour. Uh, you know, that's how Dirk Nowitzki approached it. Um, he just, he had a great love of, of his process for, you know, how he approached the game, how he worked on the game and, and how he viewed the game. And, you know, then you wake up, one day and you're there 21 years and you've been a 14 time all-star and, and all that other kind of stuff. And uh, it's great that guys like Luca and KP had an opportunity to, to spend at least some time around Dirk uh, at the very end of his career. Eddie. Rick, uh, those, uh, I mean, his numbers are so overwhelming, but how do you uh, kind of equate Luca in terms of, I mean, he's gotten so much respect at such an early age, and that hasn't always been the case for uh, especially European players. I mean, even Giannis had took four or five years before he was an all-star, much less a starter, and even Dirk also. So I, I'm just wondering how surprised, if at all, you are that he has become such a uh, household name in such a short amount of time. Well, you know, <clears throat> When you refer to, you know, the fact that it hasn't always been easy and, you know, for international players and takes, sometimes it takes time for guys and stuff like that. You know, one of the, one of the factors that um, really in, intensifies, you know, the ascent of a guy like Luca is, is, is social media. I mean, um, you know, he's probably got 4 million followers on Instagram. Um, you know, all of his highlights get tweeted and retweeted constantly. Um, he's got tremendous swag, you know, with the way he plays. He has great magnetism and charisma on the floor. Um, you know, th those, those kinds of things are, you know, they're, they're coming at you. And, uh, and it's it really, he, he, he captured... He captured the world really in his first year, and and he has not let up on the gas pedal. And so it's been, it's been, uh, it's been great to see. Um, and I'm I'm real happy for him, you know, just just because you know when you get to that level, you know everything is competitive, and you know there's a bunch of guys that want to start in the All Star game every year, and so and so maintaining, you know that that position is. Uh, is is a very it's a very hard thing to do